Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 36. So we have spent quite a bit of time during this 4.0 challenge working on getting leads into our system and cultivating those leads, and then working through document management, whether that's in our opportunities. We talked about DocuSign. We have now talked about ZipForm. So today it's time to start writing some offers. And so I wanted to show what that looks like in command when you are entering your offer data for your opportunities. So we're gonna click on the opportunities applet handshake. It is the sixth one down. And we're gonna open the opportunity we've been working on throughout this challenge. So here is our buyer. And now that we've put in all of our documents, let's say in this case, it's all of our buyer representation, IABS, we're gonna start writing the offer. Uh, we want to go ahead and log that offer. So I'm going to click on the Offers tab, and I'm going to click on Add New Offer. And it's going to say, well, what would you like to call it? I would recommend changing this to the address of the property that they're writing the offer on. So in this case, I have a new townhome listing. We'll just use it, uh, 4406 Center Street. Let's create the offer. So it's going to give us the version name and then have the offer date. So let's say they're writing the offer to date, uh, today, excuse me, they're gonna close, let's say on the 28th. And then since this is a buy side transaction, you can actually select the listing from the KWLS. And so here is that townhome listing. So we're gonna go ahead and select that listing and then we're gonna go to parties. Okay, so next we've got the buyer's information is automatically pulled in. My information as the buyer's agent is automatically pulled in. On the seller side, we would just put in the seller's names and we could put in the rest of this information, but it's not necessary. Uh, and then we do want to put the name of the listing agent. So in this case, I am the listing agent. It's got me on both sides here. Uh, next, we would put in terms. So this uh, townhome is listed at 350,000. Let's just put it into the world, positive thinking that we would get a full price offer and that would mean 20% uh, down and they're gonna finance the rest. They're gonna do 1% earnest money, let's say $200 option fee for 10 days. Uh, they are most likely gonna offer or ask for a home warranty. So let's say we give it to them for the 600 and uh, zero in settlement costs. Obviously you can tweak any of these numbers based upon the uh, offer that your client is writing. Next, we would do agent analysis. Now, this is a buy side transaction, so I don't know that there really needs to be a ton of analysis on this deal. I think this really applies much more when we're doing listings. I'm gonna show you that tomorrow. So at this point, all I would have to do would be click on save, and then you would see here is my offer. It has been put in. You can see the names of the seller and the listing agent, the address of the property, and then what the offer was cash amount, finance amount, earnest amount, what the option fee was, when it closes, and how long our option period is. Now you can see commissions is still grayed out. It's not a tab that I can select, so I can't actually move forward with creating my commission request until this offer is actually accepted. So that would be the next step in this process. Now that we've put in the offer, uh, maybe the listing agent has countered back, we've gone back and forth, we've done some negotiations, um, if there's anything that needs to be changed, we can come back in and edit the offer, right? So let's say we came back and um, after some thought, uh, they wanted to, uh, they came back and asked for some additional closing costs. So we got the inspection report, maybe there's some issues and they asked for 2,500 in settlement costs, we all agreed. So now I can click on save and this offer has now been edited. Okay, so once that happens, I can come in and actually accept the offer, and you'll see once I do, the commissions tab is going to light up. So that's how you would put in the offers. If for any reason this offer was rejected, and I have not put in a commission request, I can always come back in and change the response, and that's gonna leave this open, and then I could put reject, meaning we lost out on this deal, so then we would move on to putting a new offer in on another transaction. This would also help you if you're working with a buyer who keeps putting in offers that don't get accepted. You can start to see the trend of the price point and then their offer. And this would be a great thing to maybe even take a screenshot of and say, look, you have lost out four offers in a row. It's because we're not offering near list. We probably wanna get our offer a little bit stronger. So tomorrow I'm gonna to do the flip side. 
I'm gonna take it from the listing agent perspective, putting in offers, and then show you how you can actually make an offer comparison and do a few cool things on the listing side. So until then, hope everyone's having a fantastic Thursday. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.